One of our most important national interests is really the kindness and the accommodation that you have extended to my brothers, Filipino. And that is why I said to His Royal Highness that that is national interest is very important. And I committed to stand by you at all times. And I said that if you need us, you just call. And if you want even if things uh, break loose, I hope it will not. I pray to God that it will be re remain fundamentally on the side of the Middle East peaceful. But there's a violent uh, activity going on. But we are ready to help you. And I said, you might not have experience. My soldiers are very disciplined. They are graduate, most of them is from the Philippine Military Academy. And if you need troops here, just in the borders, for sure, they just put it in writing that uh, they are here for training. But they can stay here if you want. If you want us to stay for one month, fine. If you want to deploy us here, we will agree. Because of our national interest and the lives of the Philippines. Yeah. So that if you want soldiers under your command, I'm willing to send you one battalion, one regiment, one division to protect you. <laughs> Just say the word. And if the other countries... Uh, what are you doing? And I would just say, it is to our national interest. That Bahrain, Qatar, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia should be uh, uh, what it is today and it will be what it would be, Anshala, tomorrow. And, and, uh, Bahrain can count. There's always a reason. And if they would see Filipino soldiers here, I don't know, we'll just say they're training. <laughs> Since they're in the desert, in the forest, it's all jungle. I want my soldiers to learn about fighting in the desert. That is the excuse. <laughs> but if you want them to fight side by your side, we know that we are a people of gratitude. And if we can repay you, we do not have the resources, we do not have the oil, but we can offer our lives to you. To stand we do not have the bombers, the cruise missiles, but we just have the human being with the rifle. And that is enough. And any time you want additional, just let us say, we are inviting them for training. But if they want them to be deployed in the desert, they will enjoy it. It's the first time that they would <laughs> experience desert fighting. They, they, they are the busy. They have mastered the fight of uh, jungle fighting. But out there, very cold and very cloudy, they, they will enjoy the new ambience. I am sure <laughs> the Filipino soldier can survive. And that commitment of man, I made it in public before uh, uh, people of Bahrain and before my people. Give you my word. We will do it. Let's just find a good excuse. <laughs> Thank you very much.